Two-time Olympic gold medalist, World Cup champ, Julie Foudy joining us now from Tokyo with more on the loss to Canada. So, Julie, the women's team has now failed to reach the gold medal match in back-to-back -back Olympics. And I know that goalie Alyssa Nair had to leave this game, but what happened? The USA never really got going. How many days do we have, Hannah? How many days? Um, you know, they never really got going in this game. They never really got going in this tournament. And they, they just never look like themselves. And I, I literally have been racking my brain on, you know, what is it? Is it the heat of Tokyo? Is it the, the multiple games? They played five games in 13, uh, in 13 days. And the thing I keep coming back to is I, I don't, see the same joy and freedom and creativity that I've seen in teams of past. And whether that's the age of the team, whether um, it's the constant rotation to try and share the load of minutes, you didn't see the same swagger that you typically see in this United States team. They just looked leggy, tired the entire tournament. Megan Rapino said in the postgame presser tonight that Hey, look, it, it, it's just we didn't have the same joy we typically have. There's something missing. We didn't have the same juice, I think is how she said it. Yeah, Carly Lloyd, we saw her just crouching onto the turf. She was visibly emotional after the loss. And she turned 39 in July. And the average age of the core of this team is 31. Should younger players, in retrospect, have had more prominent roles? They will have more prominent roles, absolutely, going forward. But in, in Vlatko's defense, that 2019 team with largely this same core group of players crushed it. COVID brought, obviously, a lot of complications. You couldn't play top teams all over the, the world because you couldn't travel. Top teams wouldn't come to you. They probably weren't playing the best teams possible to see where they were at. And so it was hard once they got here, especially against a very good Sweden team. Um, they, they took a, a, a bit of a, a beating in that first game. But I do think, and I get what he was going with, like this is a team that's done super well. Why change too much? In hindsight now, it's very easy to say, oh yeah, he absolutely should have gone younger. And he will go younger given this result for sure, uh, leading into this next World Cup. But I don't fault him for this actually, because I think these are players that are winners. They have the mentality to win. and. Everything they were seeing science-wise, data-wise, was showing that they were fit enough and good enough. The U.S. women's national exactly. team, though, uh, at risk of failing to win a medal for the second time in five years, hadn't missed a podium in five straight Olympics, as you well know before that. Uh, Julie Foudy, thanks so much. Uh, keep up the great work from Tokyo. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.